Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to jump on here and show you guys how I cream contour my face because cream contouring is like super popular right now and it actually is something I love to do because I feel that if I cream contour before I add my powders, the contour stays on all day. Share you guys some tips and tricks and the products I use. If you guys are interested in how I cream contour and want to learn how I do it, then just keep on watching. I already actually did my eyebrows and my foundation um, <clears throat> before getting on camera and now I'm just gonna straight jump on to how I cream contour. A product that I've been lately, that I've been loving lately for cream contouring is the Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Contour and it looks like this. It is so cute. Um, it's honestly super super inexpensive I believe I paid like three dollars for this um, contour stick and this is in the shade 806 where's my walnut I also own the Jordana sculpt and go which I've used before too but in my opinion the wet and wild one stays on the face a lot longer it's long lasting so I'm gonna just go ahead and usually for contour you want to take the contour and you want to apply it in the places where you want to get more defined and sculpted good rule of thumb is taking it like right where your ear um, right here where your ear starts and then just take it all the way down um, so that's the kind of rule of thumb I like to use to keep um, to give myself a little bit of guidance whenever I'm applying the contour shades so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna apply where I told you guys so I'm gonna apply this right here and honestly you can make whatever design makes you happy whatever it is you can do and I'm also gonna take it on the um, bottom of my jawline just to give myself that sculpted look and it's like thinner down here now for highlighting for highlighting you can use concealer you can use whatever um, I personally love my Tarte Shape Tape and that's what I've been using for the past like months and I love this because it conceals and it highlights for me and I use the shade Light Neutral. Um, this shade is really perfect for my skin tone because it's not too yellow and it's not too bright. It's just like perfect enough to give me the highlighted look underneath my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and blend out my contour first and then I will apply my highlights where I love to blend out my contour with my MAC 197 ish brush it's a tiny little brush and it's so perfect to blend out perfect to blend out contour and it's just like the right shape so I'm gonna take this little baby and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend upwards and as you guys will be able to tell this product blends super 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 easily so if you, as you guys can tell it's already giving me that shadow to make my face look a lot thinner and not as wide so that's why I love to apply the contour underneath my jawline look how easy this is blending out like you don't even have to like really go really hard with the brush it's just it honestly blends itself out with how creamy this product is that's I will tell you guys that doing this video thinking about it I will not be purchasing the KKW beauty line I have taken my time and actually done a lot of review and I've actually watched several several videos on people super super disappointed and not just like any any like beauty guru but like actually people that know what they're doing um and I've just I've honestly like I'm kind of pissed off that Kim Kardashian would do something like that because I feel like when it comes to makeup and when it comes to her, she's known for that kind of stuff. You know, she's the queen of highlighting and contouring. So for her to come out with a product that is total garbage, I feel like that's really disrespecting. So for that reason, and I'm not going to be buying it. And then, like, I've also seen people apply the product and the highlighting color is just a joke. Like, I honestly couldn't believe it when I was seeing the video. So yeah. I just thought I should let you guys know I'm not going to be purchasing that those products. I'm going to apply the highlight. So the highlight you want to take any places that you want to bring to light. So a lot of people highlight underneath their eyes, 
um, in their forehead, in their chin, and maybe like up here in the cupid's bow. So those are kind of like the places I like to highlight as well. The trick I like to do is I like to take my concealer and take it right underneath the contour to really define it. So I'm just going to take the concealer and just apply a triangle underneath my eyes just like this. I don't like to get really, really heavy handed with this because this concealer is really, really thick and full coverage. So for that reason, I only just take a little bit. So I'm going to take some here, some here, and then just a couple, just a little bit there to just highlight that. And then like I told you guys, I'm going to take just a little bit right here to just define that contour. And for this, I like to take my handy dandy beauty blender and just take blend everything out. But before that, I always love to apply some Fix Plus, which is a ride or die staple in my collection and in my makeup routine. This is something I cannot do my makeup without. So I like to just spritz some just to make sure my face is nice and moisturized, hydrated for all these cream products that we're using. And I'm just going to go in and start blending everything out. blend out the concealer the next thing I like to do is go ahead and set my entire face with powders under eye lately I have been really liking the um, RCMA no makeup powder I like to do a very light hand with this because this product product could tend to cake up in your face very very quickly a little bit amount and I'm not gonna leave it on I like to just press it in and wipe it off immediately because it does if I do leave it in and um, let it bake. It does tend to get really cakey like I said. I love um, setting my face with my MAC Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish and this honestly gives my face such a natural look and I love setting my face with this. I like to um, use my Hoola, my Benefit Hoola bronzer. It's like the perfect undertone for contour. And I also have been really loving my Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer, which looks like this. This is honestly like, like the perfect color. I'm trying a new brush today, which I'm super, super excited. This is the Morphe E4 brush. And I'm so excited because I've heard great things about this brush. And it's super, super soft. So I'm going to go ahead and put this baby to the test. I just like to set my under eye first, just to make sure that there's no creasing under there. So I will dip my beauty blender, set the rest of my face, like my contour and my full face. I will actually go in and remove any excess from this RCMA powder, but for now I will just press it in as much as I can. So next I like to um, actually go ahead and contour and powder. So I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown and I'm just going to go ahead and bronze. When it comes to bronzer and blush, I am like a fanatic. So I love to like mix and match my bronzers especially. So I'm just going to take a little bit of both and um, just apply them. Lastly, I'm going to go in and set my entire face. And I'm just going to use another Morphe. This is the E51. And I'm just going to use this to uh, lightly set the rest of my face. So after you have set all your powders, the next step that I do in my contour and highlighting process, I take any liquid illuminator and I like to just prepare my um, cheekbones for the powder. I've been using the Sephora Radiant Luminousing Drops and this is what they look like. Um, this is in the color Morning Light and this product is so pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it really quick just to show you guys what this thing does because honestly it's so pretty so after i've applied it i like to just take my beauty blender and just blend it into the skin Step is you want to just go in and remove any excess powder from when we put the rcma powder on underneath their eyes 
and always spray some fix plus because this will make your makeup look on another different level lastly i'm gonna apply my powder highlight with you guys on camera as well i'm gonna be taking my kylie or the kylie uh, price illuminating powder and mine is in the color salted caramel this powder is like heaven in a powder so amazing i've been really loving it so i'm just gonna take it there you have it i love this highlighter i'm so obsessed i just can't find myself putting it down like i've been just loving it so much that concludes the video guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helps you guys and like get a better understanding and a, an idea on how to cream contour because i know a lot of people get intimidated um they might feel that it's hard because i knew i know that when i first started i was like oh, that looks just so hard i'm not going to try that but honestly it's just super super easy it's super simple don't put too much thought into makeup because it's just makeup you can always remove it if it comes out looking bad and that's the good thing about makeup and i hope you liked the video if you did enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so the link will be down below and as always i will put everything i mentioned in the description bar i don't have anything else to tell you guys except that i love you thank you guys so much for all the love and i will catch you in my next video bye guys